Good evening, friends. Good to see you again. Remember to strengthen yourself. You are here for a purpose. There is a calling upon your life. Do not forget that. Um, I was just meeting with uh, some friends who live in countries where it's not even allowed to have a Bible. And I started thinking for myself, if I was taken to prison or if I could not have the Bible, do I know words from the Bible enough to strengthen myself? Because the Word of God washes us, strengthens us, heals us. It gives us life. Uh, so we really need this. We need the Bible. We need the Word of God to strengthen ourselves. That is our main source of strength. You know? Uh, so that's why we need the Word of God. The Word of God is alive and active and it transforms us, it changes us into Him, His image so that we, when we read it, become more and more like Him so that we also learn how to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute us, that we also learn um, to forgive and so that we are also forgiven from all our sins and can start afresh and be holy to the Lord and temples, you know. All these things we learn from the Word of God. And there is a secret with the Word of God. The Word of God is Jesus. That's why it is so important to eat, to read the Word of God and put it inside our hearts. On the first pages of the Bible, the Lord God created heaven and earth by His Word. He said, be light, and there was light. And the same Word of God in the uh, first chapter of John, he says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So, uh, the world was created by the Word of God, by God Himself, Jesus, the active Word. Um, and on the last pages of the Bible, the rider on the white horse is wrapping things up and he is called the Word of God, Kalimatullah, both in the Bible and the Quran. This is a name of Jesus. So there is a deep, deep, deep secret with the Word of God. And when we read it, there are many promises uh, to us living in the Word of God and the Word of God living in us. Uh, then we can pray whatever we want. We should have it, John says in chapter 15, 16. So I am challenging you now, because I was challenged myself, to read and learn one, not just one verse. Okay, start with one verse, but then go on to read and learn one entire chapter of the Bible uh, so that it lives in you. Because if this stays in the shelf, it doesn't make any difference. But if it stays in you, it transforms you. It transforms your character, uh, your hope, your willingness to serve, your, your courage. It gives us strength. So when these uh, messages are called strengthen yourself, this is the primary source of strength. Because these words are alive and active and they're changing things. So with this, I challenge you to join me in the next days and the next weeks to learn words from the Bible by heart, so that it is in your heart, and so that you can see its effect on people when you speak the Word of God to people. Uh, don't hide it from them. Give this source of strength to others also. May God bless you, and uh, remember you are not alone. Uh, I will see you in a new video tomorrow, but first of all, I would like to pray together with you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for your word that you have given to us. Lord, we ask that this word will become active in our lives and transform us, change us, take us from our selfish lives and help us serve, Lord. We ask that the power of your word will be active in us. So Holy Spirit, we invite you now to come in and change our lives. And we ask for help to learn it so that it can stay in us, so that we can strengthen others with your word, so that many can be helped. Lord, you know who, who will need help and words in the days to come. Please send us to them, Lord, and open our eyes so we can see them. In Jesus' name, amen. So, may you be blessed, my friends, and uh, I'll see you in a new video tomorrow.